Okay, I lied. Mainly because... Anyways. Alright, today is birthday celebration day, which means later on it comes out loud, we'll be playing some Jackbox Party Packs uh, with uh, several people. I'm not sure, Paul, who's going to be there, but we're going to have a happy hour. This is all going to be over on YouTube. Check it out. Uh, one of the things I did uh, after the show is, well, well, I got flying in in the Tempest. We can fly everywhere. Uh, all right. We uh, talked to Reen, had a thing, and now we are heading up and talking to a capital attendant. To begin, to truly begin, the final quest of the uh, 5.0. Yeah, 5.0. Storyline, the, the main launch story this is one of my favorite parts i want to say um it's going to be interesting seeing it from a uh, as a lalafell versus uh my row I love my... welcome to the capital all visitors must present an official writ of permission before admittance will be granted no documents appear to be in order. You may proceed into the capital, but any guest may choose to bring with you must remain in your vicinity at all times. Uh, I'm turning up the volume. Because this is a big trip. This really is unacceptable. I gave you very specific instructions. Emmett Selk. My invitation was for an abomination, ripe with the power to bring about the world's annihilation. He's a poet and he didn't even know it. Not this half-broken thing. Whatever am I to do with you? And I see you insist on keeping the same familiar company. Are you so lost without them? It is not he who is lost without the familiar. Not content with remaking an entire city, you aim to fill it with the reconstituted souls of the dead. I may have gotten a little carried away in my attention to detail, added a few unnecessary flourishes. Well, there's no point trying to hide it. Yes. Once the rejoining of worlds is complete, Zodiac will regain his full strength and shatter his prison. Then we shall offer up the source's remaining inhabitants in sacrifice that we might resurrect our brethren who died to bring Zodiac into existence. But what was it that you came here to do exactly? Beat your face in. I'm here to stop you. Did you know? One last do-or-die attempt to foil my plans before your mind dissolves into madness. How very, very heroic of you. In every single age, there is always someone who wants to stand up to the evil Asians. Well, at least you call yourself evil. Always the same arrogance. 
themselves. The same insistence that the world belongs to them, as if theirs were the only rightful claim, theirs the only existence worthy of preservation. Even now, after everything, you refuse to see reason. You think it unfair that you are subject to suffering? That your lives will be sacrificed for the ancients? Look at me! I have lived a thousand, thousand of your lives. I have broken bread with you, fought with you, grown ill, grown old, sired children, and yes, welcomed death's sweet embrace. For eons have I measured your worth and found you wanting. Too weak and feeble-minded to serve the stewards of any star. Have your recent spats with Vorthri and his Sin Eaters taught you nothing? Hold on one second. I had a thought. So he says he's basically claiming that we're not good stewards of, of any star, right? I would like to point out that this whole shattering was all because of the ancients. This the the whatever the race the name the Asians. I'm not sure if the race was called Asians in with like all the, those figures are considered as Asians or ancients but in essence all of that was your fault we wouldn't even be in this situation except for for whatever ended up causing the other things you were not good stewards of this star Look at your own faults. Yes, I'm clapping back. Don't tell us that we're not good stewards of the star. Because we wouldn't be in this place if it weren't for you and your summoning in Zodiac, summoning in Heidelin. Even though Emmett Sulk wasn't part of the Heidelin thing. But still, your people were the ones who did it. Why was happening? Did they figure out the cause of these tremors? No, they were just trying to... To, to summon just creation, 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 creation. You suspect, but because of all the creation magics you were using, constantly, like, casually, that maybe that could have been the reason, reason that all of your creation manipulation upset set the balance of ether in the world, which caused it to have this calamity that happened... In fact, we've had the eighth. Uh, I would almost say we've had the eighth umbral calamity. Because <laughs> this final day is calamity. That's not considered the first umbral calamity, but maybe it should be. All of this is really all the Asian's fault that we are even here in the first place. I'm just saying. That's my thought. Every recent spats with all three is in your study, nothing. Have you not learned that your ignorance and frailty beget only endless misery? How long do you mean to perpetuate this farce? How much more must I endure your bumbling interference? Let us imagine that the laws of reality are again undone and the world faces true annihilation. Do you honestly believe that half your number would sacrifice themselves to save the other? Of course they wouldn't! And if you had witnessed history unfold as I have, you would reach the same conclusion. You cannot be entrusted with our legacy. 
I will bring back our brethren, our friends, our loved ones. The world belongs to us and us alone. Emmett Selk! We understand, truly, but it makes no difference. The ones you love are in the past, while ours are here in the present. One day, we too will be ashes and dust, but not today. Our time is not yet finished. We share your conviction, and that is why we will not abandon our course. You think us the same? You think your tattered soul of equal worth to those I lost? Then come, earn your place. Prove yourselves worthy to inherit this star. backdrop for your final judgment. I shall wait within, but do not spend too much time on your preparations. There's no telling how much longer the guest of honor will last. for a dungeon. I turned the volume a little bit. Okay, so I'm really focused on doing this on Monk, but I don't want to do a, a double melee. The only problem is I found out I only have one tank amongst my choices, and that's Thancred. Thancred, sadly, can't use his etheric charge abilities. Such as Nashing Fang, Savage Cloud, Quick Talon, without Reed. But I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, let's see. Our fakes are not yet sealed. I'm going to go old school with Thancred Orianger because I like throughput. And just stole that.
Welcome to the final days of Amaral. The fabric of our star began to fray, and the unchecked energies of creation begat malformed beasts. with you. This is one of the many reasons why I wish they would do AoEs.
Just as prayer gives rise to primals, our dread may manifest our deepest fears. No. This is why you do the trust at least the first time you do do a dungeon. It's because you could follow their lead.
land buckled. The cities burned. The waters ran red with blood. This is a fun one. Thus did the second doom break us.
Oof. Oof. Nope. Just a little further. And you will see the end of a world. Star was fading. We saw we had to weave its laws anew. Prepare yourself.
I want to thank Raiden. Between us and our goal loomed a final misbegotten fiend. Period. Sonic Riddle. I think there's a lot of, uh, the, uh,
is going to leave a mark. There we go. A, the, the boss is so big that sometimes he's covering up the areas I need to be avoiding. There, a custody now. Here we go. Well, well, you prevailed. Nevertheless, All the bigger people get thrown to the ground, and the your small one gets fallen just to his knees. And I remain unconvinced of your worthiness. Oh, you tower over your misbegotten ilk, no doubt. But should I bring my full strength to bear, well, you would be as leaves in the wind. The gulf between us is a reflection of the disparity between the world as it was and what it has become. <sighs> Our worlds may not live up to your lofty standards, but they are our worlds, our homes, full of life and love and hope and we won't stand by and let you destroy them Ugh. Alize you are a mistake 
for we who have known perfection. The shattered source and these shards are ghastly mockeries of the true world. The ephemeral lives you exalt are pale imitations, utterly devoid of meaning. Belittle us all you like, but we will rise again and again and give the lie to your insults through word and deed. We define our worth not the circumstances of our creation. Ha, <laughs> more prat. Once I have reclaimed my heritage, my first act will be to expunge your stain from history's weave. My world will have no need for heroes. Still fighting the good fight. I'm not sure if you had to block that. That was a little high. It is true that all we hold dear is fated to fade away. But that is no reason for us to forsake it. to take what steps we may, and thus mark the road for those who would follow, to strive for the best of all futures. Be this not also thy purpose? Do not presume to speak of my future. And you, why waste your final moments in futile defiance, weary wanderer? You've no fight left to fight, no life left to live. You see, the light will not be denied. Surrender to your fate, and let the transformation take you. Rise up in madness and fury. Devour the vermin infesting the land which is rightfully ours. Bert? 
If you had the strength to take another step, could you do it? Could you save our worlds? Yeah, you know I could. Ilya said he had a job to do. Well, here it is. This world is not yours to end. This is our future. Our story. No, it can't be. The light. You are a broken husk, nothing more. How can you hope to stand against me alone? We stand together. Finally, show up, Graha. How? I'm surprised you can stand at all. I could not well leave matters half finished. Let expanse contract, Eon become instant. Champions from beyond the rift, heed my call! Ends this day, one way or another. It ends. <sighs> Very well. Let us proceed to your final judgment. The victor shall write the tale, and the vanquished become its villain. Let us cast aside titles and pretense, and reveal our true faces to one another. I am Hades, he who shall awaken our brethren from their dark slumber. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. Why are there seven of these things? This is a fun part. All right. Since I got like a 10 minute wait time on this. There, there's no way to do this without they're, they're, it's not trustworthy. I was drinking in my uh, water.
Oh man, that's just epic. Love it so much. I go from that and I get to some buddy tooting a horn. That's awful. to see if these are upgrades for gear or anything. Kitty girl. Also, I was getting uh, the gemstones of revelation and allegory. What are they doing? It's 50. Oh, hold on. Deal with this in a bit. Don't worry, we'll tell Parvins this is done. Show your vaulted strength, and I shall expose the lie of your fragmented existence. Oh, hey, check that out.
No, don't stand in it. I was so busy dodging. <laughs> I forgot where it was. Usually at this point in time, you kind of want to stay as near to your healers as possible because usually there's some big damaging ability. One of the trapped ones.
All right, active time remover. Oh, cool. I didn't know I didn't have to use the mouse. You can't see by all the graphics, but I did the LB3. <laughs> I think because I was the one who did the LB3, a couple of people gave me commendations. <laughs> That's a fun fight. It's not my favorite, but it's it's fun. Turn up the volume. Now I had to get all creepy. Should I surrender this fight? What will become of it all? Those that can actually generally through. That axe was bigger than me.
Remember. Remember us. Remember that we once lived. It's over. Emmet Selk is no more. More importantly, how do you fare? What dost thou see? His ether. It is... It is as it used to be. As a disciple of Zodiac, the Asian was the darkness to your light. I can but assume that when you set your strength against his, the light within you was spent. No, it's more than that. Under the strain of that incredible flood of ether, your soul had begun to break apart. Yet now it seems somehow restored. I tried to help you before the battle, but Emmet Selk stopped me. So, how did you... exactly what did you... Can you tell us what happened? I had help from a hero of this world. I see. Nope. <laughs> Ugh. It's horrible. Where to start? I believe I owe you all an apology. And you, most especially. I'm tired. We'll leave the lecture for later. <laughs> no arguments here. So, those mad souls dove straight into the ocean over there, did they? Uh, all, all I could see from here was the whale, Master Chai. T'was surely Alfno and those friends of his. They did something heroic, mark my words. 
You need only look up there for proof of that. As you say, my love. They're sure to be back. Any moment now. Any moment. They are coming back, aren't they? I couldn't bear the thought of... There, there, dear. Everything will be all right. There! There! Look! Over there! Over the beach! Ugh. Uh, if only we had a lift to get back to shore. Uh Ho there! Hey there. Greetings! You all right? Welcome back! Well, the sky's how it should be. Oh, <laughs> Alpha now. I had some trouble. I didn't think we'd be swimming the whole way back. Heavens. Heavens. Take me. Alpha, no. Oh, hells. <laughs> okay, next arc, we better get you back to the mysterium. Wait! Where's Uriante? He must have fallen behind. But shouldn't we look for him? He'll wash up sooner or later. <laughs> for the love of Alphano! Welcome back, dear ones! And thus did salvation come to the first. The lamps of Amarot will fade along with Emmet Selk's enchantments, and the depths shall be as once they were. Mount Gulg will one day fall, and the Talos below yield to wind and rain. This tale, too, will fade with time, passing into legend as the world heals and moves on. Nevertheless, later that day, while heading back to the Crystarium, Is that the Amara launch? As ether obeys the cycle, as death and decay gives way to new life,
Our Bert, Bert so is too, reunited the with his we share inspire others to rise to greatness. He choked it up. For we who walk before may lead those who walk after. Your road goes ever on, as does your story, as does your legacy. Like, we were a little tired, so we're just gonna. Such kind of walk is the hero's lot to touch the lives of countless others. Excuse me? You're the warrior of darkness, aren't you? Where are you from, really? And how did you get to be so strong? Concept art with this being the fill in for the Warrior of Light as a Dark Knight. Because, you know, yeah, the Dark Knight is not appropriate. Just uh, skip through this. Finish up the Shadowbringers quest, which opens up a shit ton of load of stuff. Do you remember this video? I think it is. By your deeds, has the blinding light been banished from these skies? and the Sin Eaters driven to retreat. Although our many hurts will be years in the mending, I have faith that this world and her people will one day be whole once more. With no rejoining in prospect, the Source need no longer fear the coming of an eighth umbral calamity. And with that triumph, the future from which you came will no longer come to pass. Yet here you still stand. So I do. I wonder if that other age continues onward somehow, cut adrift from time's flow. Or have I simply etched myself a place upon this new block of history? Either way, this is an unexpected development. As the summoner of your souls, my death was meant to release you back to your world. Yet I am very much alive, and you are still stuck here in the first. I believe I speak for us all when I say that we are happy to postpone our return if it means your life is spared. We will seek out another way. Besides, I never had any intention of rushing home. There are people here I still need to thank, and this means I might actually have time to do so. Yet we dare not neglect our comrades in the Source. Mistress Tataru, to name but one, will be most anxious to know how things stand with us. So, 
You'll just have to make the journey alone for the moment. Be sure and give a full report to our fellow Scions, would you? Oh, and we'd also appreciate any news you can bring us from back home. Then I see no reason to delay. I can open the path from here. Uh, I'm connected to the etherites. I could just teleport. I imagine we each have matters demanding our attention, so let this be a farewell for us all. I suppose then his rebuttal would be, well, it's cheaper if I send you this way. It's free. And then you can teleport from there and it's just less cost. Because, you know, they always take Gil whenever you do the teleport. I don't know how that happens, but Gil just mysteriously disappears every time you teleport. Send word when you've resummoned our friend. You know, I, I don't need to be resummoned. I could just teleport back. I could come back at any time. Oh, and do try to ensure he arrives within the city next time. <laughs> of course. I shall strive for utmost accuracy. No strange forests or unplanned passengers, I promise. Uh, you don't need to, to re-summon me. I can come back on my own. I think we established this whole lot earlier in the expansion. They all will can send a message too, so it's... I'm a little relieved to be honest. I would have been terribly lonely if everyone had suddenly disappeared. Oh. But I understand that you have to go. Safe journey, warrior of darkness. I hope to see you again soon. I'll be back. I mean, I have to take care of Eden. <laughs> I'll help you with that. Just a moment while I attune the portal. Then you can be on your way. When I was a boy... Many long years ago. I yearned to stand tall as the heroes of Eld. But like a fool seeking to pluck the stars from the heavens, my every attempt to reprise their deeds fell short. And then one day, an all but forgotten dream from my youth stood before me in the flesh. A hero who looked at the horizon and beyond and saw I knew not what. All I knew was that I would give anything to stand at that hero's side. Would that it was so easy. The glory of the heavens was ever beyond the grasp of those who never thought to reach for it. But if I have gained anything from all of this, it is the courage to stretch out my hand. Do you hear me, Grahatia? This is no time for sleeping. Who does Graha's voice? Oh, I think it's reminding me of Ewan McGregor. It's not Ewan McGregor.
I'm standing here. To the west gate. I want to know what's happening there. Same as the others, struck down with a single blow. An unfortunate day to draw guard duty. Forgive me. These were your people. By the way, Graha's voice is done by J Jonathan Stewart Bailey. You could almost say that he does a great an excellent impersonation of Hugh McGregor. He is an English actor. We took advantage of this slaughter to slip into the palace. It is not for me to grieve them. That was the Emperor! What? Wait! Ugh. Gaius, you've missed your part in this, I'm afraid. Identify yourself, demon! You were hoping for the Asian. The Craven shed this skin and fled, rather than face me. A pity. I was looking forward to crossing blades with myself. But I cannot deny the feeling of satisfaction. Body and soul reunited at last. What now? The game continues, but the pieces have changed. Only if we trust in a paragon's words. A mistake I do not intend to repeat. He speaks the truth. Elidibus is gone. Tore a hole into the rift. <sighs> Xenos, my foolish, greedy son. Was a second life not enough? Was the Empire too rich a prize to ignore? True freedom for our nation, our people, will never be won by a spoiled princeling. The burden of this throne is beyond you. Hmm. Tis you, father, who have struggled with this burden. Simply holding the Empire together has occupied your limited faculties. But you may take comfort in knowing that I have no intention of pursuing your tedious agenda. Nor am I interested in ruling over the Empire's lands. I came only to remove that which ruins my sport. I will not have my prey stolen by your petty wars and cowardly weapons. You would kill me just for that. I need no other reason. Any and all who interfere with my hunt will not do so twice!
I heard the Asians speak of Zodiac, an Eidolon. Even the will of this star is but a construct of our own making. We shall gorge upon their strength, and then, my friend, our contest shall begin anew. Xenos! <laughs> Right where it was. Actually, it was way down there, but. Mm. Talk to these guys. Who oh, returned? Was there a lull in the fighting over there, or. I've been keeping this device you encoded safe and sound. Did you need to use it again? Right, let's make this journey as probably normally is supposed to be done. Sloth burn, so over here. Oh, hi, Tataru. Goes, is that really you? Oh, I can uh, voice over. Yeah, hi. <laughs> How? When? We didn't think you'd be back for ages. Uh, would you rather I win again? Oh, don't be death. I just can't believe you're actually back. We heard the good news from your pixie friend, but nothing compares to seeing you in the flesh. As for the situation on this side, the Imperials are still eyeing our forces from afar. And from what I'm told, the, the Guardian armies have been slow to react and seem reluctant to commit to any large-scale engagement. An odd sort of stalemate. Otherwise, we have yet to see any sign of the awful Black Rose weapon we've been warned about. Oh, why well, I suppose we did call an old friend that to help on that account. Huh? Hmm. Growl and I have a, had trouble tracking him down, though it would be worth it to see the look on your face when you find out who it is. Anyway, I was just about to make contact with this helper of ours and then confirm the latest news from the front. Why do you fancy having a rest while I do? Ah, the warrior of light back where he belongs, just as if nothing had happened. Though you do seem different somehow. You have to tell me all about your adventures when, uh, when next we have a spare moment. Until then, welcome back. Boo, 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 boo. Olivian has claimed him. Amid Silk gone, Lahabrea gone, I alone remain, the last of the unbroken. Once more I move to reevaluate the potential of these tatters.
Well, as you know, never did I dream you would overpower me so completely. Possessed as I was of your body and all that uncanny strength. And now I have shared, shared with you the truth of this world and its reflections. Who can predict how events will unfold? Not I. Emissary. What a poor jest that title has become. The flow of history has become muddled. The currents wild are beyond my capacity to direct them. You have rested the advantage, Hydaelyn. The thieving hands of your disciples tighten their grip on your our star. The origins of the world remain hidden and its inhabitants ignorant of their broken existence, just as you and your creators desired. They celebrate the grift of imperfect life, the caring and knowing as we weaken and fade. And I do not imagine yourself rid of us. I do not imagine yourself rid of us. Though your champion is indeed proven the most egregious obstacle in our absence, a barb thorn in my side, he may yet be removed and cast into the abyss. Ah, uh, yes, be done. I will keep these heroes mired in the first. Victory will be ours at last. All well, years of darkness now, are they? Then their fate is decided. They shall meet the same end as those who came before. Death, the hands of warriors, light. This looks like the burn is not the burn. Because it rains here, so... Seems you are right. Yes, there is something out there. And it would seem crossing bombs and bombs of this infernal emptiness is rather unhealthy for living creatures as I understand it. Even were we to restrict ourselves to brief forays, I do not, do not, I don't like to imagine the effect it would have on our ether. But you still want to go, don't you? You may have saved this world, but we haven't reclaimed it. And when you put it, ah, you put it that way. What choice do we have? Well, of course, I'm going with you. That's what family is for, isn't it? Come. Let's head back and prepare for this mad journey of yours. Thank you, Thancred. Your blazing skies gives way to gentle night. What hand can end the war of dark and light? We've completed the main scenario quest, Shadowbringers. By opening the trust interface located under duty, you may now repeat previous completed main scenario dungeons with a party of NPC avatars. Avatars will gain experience of level up in accordance to their duty, their duty participation. For more information, please refer to the help found within the interface itself. Furthermore, bolstered by your experience in the first, you are now able to accept new quests, quests from job-related NPCs in the source. In order to access them, the following conditions must be met. 
reach level 80 to any given job, complete the relevant uh, level 70 job quest, complete the associated role quest line. Quest locations and other details can be reviewed in the level 70 job quest chart. In addition, quests to unlock new content have now become available in the Crystarian. Rest, rest well, warrior of light to darkness, for two worlds of adventure await your return. When the Bagraha and the Tomorrow and Tomorrow Estrin roll. All right, this is where we're going to cut it today. I need to like make some mood and stuff before party at four ish or four thirty. Uh, keep an eye on the it comes out loud YouTube because that's where we're going to be streaming it. Check it out there. I've got some D and D tonight, and then tomorrow's my birthday. Guess what I'm doing? Continuing this. <laughs> also, let's take a look at that trust menu. So you see, levels 71, so I can't do an Amarat. I can do a whole bit of switch. Yeah. But the, uh, and I got any of these people. All right. Thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. There's more stuff. I need to make some food. Be ready for my birthday happy hour in Jackbox game. So we're going to be uh, doing some drinking. Not as bad as we normally do about this time of year. In fact, today I'm doing wine. Why? Because I couldn't find champagne so that I could make mimosas. God damn it. Anyways, have a good one.